Well, coming off an impressive weekend sweep the week before at Minnesota Duluth, the Wisconsin Badgers admittedly were not as sharp for their Big Ten home series against Penn State last weekend and lost 2-1 and 4-0. But it's a new week and a new opponent, and we'll hear from head coach Tony Granato in a moment. I'm Brian Posick, and this is the Badger Hockey Digest. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like, really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team, with research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Dear Detour, you took us off-road on the gnarliest trails. You asked us to measure up. So yeah, we did. When life slings you mud, sling it right back. Stay strong, Toyota trucks. Get 3.49% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Well, Tony, I know the guys and the coaches felt really good about what happened in Duluth, and then Penn State comes to town, an experienced-type club, and give them credit. They're undefeated and the only one left in Division I hockey. But as you mentioned, Friday and again Saturday, too, your club just wasn't as sharp as you had hoped. No, we were close. I mean, the games were there for us. Uh, but, you know, the weekend before Duluth, we were, from start to finish, a, a real complete team on the little details of the game that you have to do shift after shift to be successful. So, um, you know, uh, Penn State got us a little bit off with, with the way they skated, and we never really established our momentum consistently enough to, to find ways to, to get more scoring chances or to get some goals. So, uh, again, give them credit. Um, we're back to work. <laughs> we're going back on the road to, to a, a building that's similar to Duluth. So I think in our minds, uh, this is a place we know we, how we have to play to have success, and, and we know um, it's an important series, and uh, we'll, we'll do what we can to, to get back on track this weekend. And the Badgers on the road at Michigan State Friday and Saturday night. They have a new head coach in Adam Nightingale, so I know you're concentrating on your team, but as you're scouting the opponent, what do you know about this well, new coach? You know, I think they're a little bit more offensive than they have been in the past, um, but uh, they're going to be a hard-working, grinding team. It's going to be a four-check team. It's going to be, you know, like we just talked about, the building being a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the way they know they have to play is to try to grind teams down with a four check. So it'll be really important for us on how we go back for pucks and how we get them out of our end. But on the other side of it, we have to be able to, to pressure um, the DN Michigan State like we did Duluth. I thought that was our, our uh, MO in that series was making it really hard on their D. Uh, on how hard we forechecked, and that created most of our offense. Yeah, In that series in Duluth, freshman Cruz Lucius had two goals and three points. Let's take two minutes with Cruz Lucius. All right, so you're from Minnesota. Virtually every kid in Minnesota plays hockey. So when did you first start playing hockey? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I started playing hockey when I was about six years old. Um, I was actually born in Kansas where hockey wasn't too much of, you know, a big sport like it is in Minnesota. But, you know, I moved to Minnesota when I was about six, and that's when I first stepped foot on the ice, and, you know, I loved it ever since. Yeah, and then you got to play with the national team development program. What yeah. was that experience like? Yeah, you? yeah. I mean, I think it's everything you'd imagine but better. Um, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people say putting on the USA jersey, it's, you know, a good feeling every time, but it really is. Um, it's something special being able to represent your country every day. Um, you know, I think, you know, we came up short in our end goal of you know, at Worlds. You know, we got second, but I think just the experience and everything I took away from it is really going to benefit me this year and then my whole career. So, and then even in life after hockey. Your teammates with Charlie Stramel, you were with the national program too. What's yeah. it like uh, yeah. being here together? Yeah, I mean that was, uh, you know, it's always nice going in a setting where you know know one of the guys and. For him, you know, when I, from the recruiting process, uh, this, this, you know, after the year and then going in the summer, he, you know, he told me how great, you know, the coaches are, the setting here at campus. And, you know, when I went on my visit, that's, that's the main thing was, 
you know, all the guys on the team, um, how good the coaches and the coaching staff is, uh, you know, I was – that was pretty big for me. So you've had a good start to your freshman year, getting more and more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you know, I've been getting more comfortable. That also goes in, uh, you know, how supportive the transition was from the guys on the team and the coaches. Um, I think that's that's really what's helped benefit me, and you know, you know, help help our team and everyone in the future too. Was you know, with all the all the freshmen and all the incoming guys, how how good they are and how good we we were treated to make us all feel super comfortable. So. Mm -hmm. All right, and finally for you, you wear number 51. Mm -hmm. I mean, Wisconsin is tradition-born, mm -hmm. tradition-rich. Yeah. Yeah. You're only the second player to not to wear a number outside of 35. Yeah. John Ramage was, was the first. So mm -hmm. why 51? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's a number that I wore at the NTDP my first year. Um, and I, it's also a number my brother, my brother wore. And, you know, I think, I think he'll, you know, he started the year out as 51. So, you know, I think I just love the number. And... I think that was, you know, something I talked to Tony about, um, you know, going into it, and he, you know, he, he told me that same thing. But um, you know, I, it's it's my number, so I, I really like to wear it. So I was just super happy I got to put it on this, put it on this year. Cruz, one of a handful of freshmen in the Wisconsin lineup that you're hoping a lot from, and again, he played well in Duluth. But as an 18-year-old, like Charlie Stramel and Tyson Jugnoth, among others, uh, there's a learning curve in college hockey in there. There is, but, but again, the, the signs of, of, of what they've shown so far has got us really excited. And, and Cruz is one of those players that offensively is very special. And, you know, the, learning the, the league and learning the teams and, and the buildings and all that stuff is a little bit of the process. But, but ultimately, he's a kid that you can rely on night after night to be able to help you offensively. And, and we'll count on him a lot as we move forward. And you broke tradition, allowing him to wear number 51. And we know what tradition is all about at the University of Wisconsin with a hockey program. And there's a special uh, day coming for the Suter family announced this week that uh, the University of Wisconsin will honor the Suters on Friday night, December 2nd, when the Badgers host the Michigan Wolverines and you think of Dad Marlowe and then there's Gary and Bob and, and Ryan and John. I mean, a whole line of suitors have come through this place and uh, uh, what a great way to, to honor a great family. It is. And the one thing that I think is really cool, um, you know, we have an alumni group that can, we kind of ask for ideas on, you know, uh, what you would, how would you want to make your events more special? And it, it always referred back to the suitors a lot in the last couple of years. So, so to be able to uh, have a night like this, it doesn't just, you know, have one class or, or one part of our program that will get excited about. It's from, from the start of the program to now with Marlowe's contributions way back mm -hmm. uh, when and, and then all of the kids coming through and the grandson coming through. Uh, it's been a, a, a huge impact on our program, their family, and to have a night for them uh, is certainly deserving. So I, I know the alumni is excited. I know I'm excited. I know our players are excited as well. Again, that's Friday, December 2nd against Michigan. Good luck against Michigan State. Thank you, Brian. Sure, that's Badgers head coach Tony Granato, Wisconsin and Michigan State. Friday night faceoff at 6, Saturday at 5. No TV this weekend. You can watch them online, though, on Big Ten Plus, and you can also hear them on the Badgers Sports Network. For Tony Granato, Steph Olson, Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.